So in the chapter of kinematics, the first topic we will talk about is motion. If we get to define the motion of an object, it would be any object that is moving from point A to point B, that is an object in motion. So in simple terms, object in motion is any object that is moving. Defining a motion, again motion is any object that moves from point A to point B. When we talk about object in our kind of non-formal terms, we say the object is moving in speed ABC or it is having the velocity ABC or it is going, we can say about things or about people that are jumping, running, walking, shaking, vibrating, all these are kind of non-formal terms of defining motion. But in physics, we have certain terms that are defining motion that we will talk about shortly. So we are, as we said, in the chapter of kinematics. Kinematics, as you know, is the branch of physics that describes motion. So kinematics means motion. So if you want to describe a motion in a more physical or mathematical terms, we can say displacement, we can say velocity, and we can say acceleration. All those definitions are different from each other in terms of describing motion. We will start with the first one, which is displacement, basically focusing on an object moved from point A to point B then we try to define how far this object moved to the right or to the left, east, west, south, north, etc. So now we will focus more on the concept of displacement. Let's say we have a golf ball over here. The golf ball, let's say, in the center. And this golf ball can go to the right or to the left. There is some conventions in physics about motion. Any object moving to the right, we can call it, it is doing a positive motion. Any object moving to the left, we call it as doing a negative motion. For south and north, that is another topic to talk in details about it and try not to confuse you so much in the early stage of describing displacement. So we have a golf ball over here. It could be moving in a linear motion. Linear motions means the ball will be moving in one line, either to the right or to the left. Imagine it's on a kind of a slider or a rail that doesn't allow the ball to move like deep or back, but it can move right and left only. Quick, simple example, let's say you have here a graded line from 0 to 4 and from 0 to minus 4. Hopefully you are familiar with, with the convention of um, negative and positive numbers. That will make your life easier. Otherwise, you need to go to a mathematical topic and touch base on how to differentiate the definition of a negative number and a positive number. As we said in physics, moving to the right means positive motion you're getting positive number. Moving to the left, you're getting negative motion. You're getting, in this case, negative number. So let's say this ball moved to the right until this point. Now, what is the displacement happened by the golf ball in this case? If we go on the initial location, in the initial location, it was at point zero. It moved to the right three points. In this case, the golf ball moved three units. In this case, the units are meters. So the golf ball moved three meters to the right, which means the golf ball moved three meters. Now, in this case, so that's the initial position. In this case, the golf ball moved to the left four units. So we can say the golf ball moved four units to the left, or in mathematical terms, the displacement of the golf ball is minus four meters, either describing that in the letter M or write the word meters. 
Now, if we describe the displacement in a mathematical equation, because you know things will get uh, a little complicated pretty quickly, so we will we need to be able to describe the displacement in terms of uh, mathematical abbreviations. In this case, we call the displacement as s. So displacement s equals sf minus so. In physics, O is related to initial, and you can see it sometimes as I, which refers to initial, which make more sense. I would say it make more sense if it was D equals DF, which referring to final displacement, minus DI, which refers to initial displacement. But I'm, I'm trying to use the equation of S in this case because many textbooks and many instructors are using that term. So I don't want you to be confused if you saw the S equation. It would make sense if everybody was using the convention of D. In this case, displacement equals DF means final displacement. F for final, final position or final displacement minus SO or SI, which refers to initial position. Always remember S equal S final minus S O or S zero means final displacement minus initial displacement. Now let's learn how to use this equation in the example of the golf ball. So we have a golf ball here. So this location is the initial location. So you can say that's location one, that's location two. So the ball moved from location one to two in location one, S was zero, that's S initial. So this represents SI or S zero or SO, whatever you call it, and moved to the right three units as we learned seconds ago. So this is the final position, SF or DF. So in order to find the displacement from location one to location two so we can say s equal sf minus si sf we said is three meters that's three minus si was zero so we can say minus zero in this case the total displacement or the final displacement for the ball is three meters as simple as that. That only applies for linear displacement in one direction 